Next up, we have Elijah Mitchell, who is pro- your guy. Yes, your your. Let's spend all one hundred percent of my fab week one. Elijah Mitchell from I last it. year, and I didn't do you it did. just in one league. I did it in every single league I was in, <laughs> and honestly. I loved it because I had Elijah Mitchell, but I tell you what, it made waivers every week real boring for me because I had no <laughs> money. I'm going to put in a waiver claim on every single dude, person. And that's get what I them. did. I put in a million waiver claims on every dude. And I was like, please, somebody <laughs> squeak through. But yes, back to back to the, the matter in hand. Elijah Mitchell, I think, is probably, well, he's my anyway, um, waiver claim of the year last season. Um, I think that he's probably the primary weapon in between the 20s, really all over the field to start the year. Um, Trey Sermon is currently operating as top back out as his top backup um, or has in the in the preseason has always been the next running back out. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Tyrion Davis Price kind of tries to eventually ball hawk a little bit around the goal line. Um, my only concern really with Mitchell, though, is durability. He was kind of nicked up a bit last season. Um, That's not I, my only concern. <clears throat> is Trey Lance? Oh, for sure. Trey Lance. And you're dealing with Debo, who has kickers in his contract for rushing touchdowns and rushing yardage, too. So Shanahanigans. Shanahanigans. Yeah, bring that back. Your, your favorite. <laughs> like, we love the Shanahan offense, but you can't figure out what the running backs are going to do or who it's going to be on a given week or, or what's going on, especially now that they're using Debo down at the goal line or, you know, in the red zone, at least like Elijah Mitchell only had five touchdowns last year. Well, Almost that's what I was going to get to. What do you, what would you set his touchdown line at? Obviously not close to double digits. Granted, he missed yeah, a few like, games in there, but would you set it at six and a half? That's exactly where I was going to set it. It's, it would be it'd be tough to take the over just because I think you're going to get a lot of Trey Lance rushing down at the goal line and Debo and Gadgy, Kittle, Juszczyk, uh Ayuk plays potentially too. Like this is going to be a fun offense to watch. I think they could score a lot, especially if Trey Lance is good. But ah, uh, like with when you mix in the like, this is why we have them at least a little bit lower, right? So it's it's just that he got hawked so much last year and vultured down at the goal line that it's hard to get him higher because he doesn't have those the potential touchdowns even though they're hard to hard to predict. Yeah, I mean he's running back uh, twenty five for us. He's running back twenty four on ESPN. So um, again, c- kind of eerily close to ESPN rankings there as well. One off, but yeah, he. We both like him. He has great upside, but I think he's, he's just capped by that touchdown. He is now, a running back two that will have, I'm confident he will have running back one weeks, mm-hmm. but the consistency won't be there. Yep. I agree. I, I, we, we like him, but I think uh, we're not going to have a lot of shares in him because of the wide receiver depth. That's going to be in those rounds where he's going. And we liked some of the running back value early. We liked the wide receiver value late. And that's kind of why we're missing out on, on Eli Mitchell here. Um, just because of, just because of where he's going and where we've already focused our resources and drafts. 